Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this soft glam makeup look for you. I know prom season is coming up for a lot of you. Prom slash graduation. So I wanted to do a makeup look that you could wear to prom or graduation. Whether you're getting your makeup done or you're doing your makeup yourself, I wanted to just give you some inspiration on what you could do. This makeup look can go with every color. It's so neutral that you could pair it with any dress color, red, blue, gold, anything, and it would still look gorgeous. I love this. I, Y'all, I'm using natural sunlight today. I usually film with two soft boxes. I usually face a different direction, but today I face my window, and this natural sunlight is giving me, I don't know. Doing your makeup in natural sunlight is the best thing ever because natural sunlight is always gonna tell you the truth. It's never gonna steer you wrong gonna show you every fine line, every wrinkle. My makeup is pretty foolproof. I look good in all lighting. That's a trick. If you're going to prom, do your makeup in really good lighting. Don't do it in the dark. Don't rush it. What is on my chin? I trimmed my eyebrows today and like there's like little hairs all over my face now. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna make this a voiceover. I've been watching The Office all morning, so um, you know, listening to music, all that stuff. So I'm just gonna do my thing, get into my zone. I used the Soft Glam palette today for my eyes. This is kind of like the main star of the eye look. This is actually not mine. I recently did my little sister's best friend's makeup. She's like my sister too, so she accidentally left this in my makeup bag and I, I saw it and I was like, let me, let me go ahead and use it. I mean, why not? Until she, until I give it back to her, I decided to get some use out of this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're having an amazing day, amazing week. I hope you have been productive and happy and all that good stuff. So um, without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so let's start this prom makeup off with some primer so your eyeshadow won't be melting off your eyes. So I'm taking this Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer. Um, I really like this a lot. It helps my eyeshadow stay on all day. And today we are using the Soft Glam Palette, hence the name of today's tutorial. I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange first in my crease. I also set my crease with powder so that the shadows will, you know, glide easier onto my eye. And I don't even know what shade that was. I'm not even gonna front like I know, but you know what? I'll put all the shades that I use down below because my stupid finger is covering them. But I'm just doing like a soft, you know, purple brownish crease. I know that shade is called Cypress Umber, but I'll have the shades down below. So after I deepen my crease, I'm going to take the shade Fairy and it's like this really pretty gold shade. And then I also went on top of Fairy with Moonstone from Bobbi Brown, which is gorgeous. I'm going to line my eye. I'm doing a tiny little wing, like a little, tiny little bit like the tiniest wing ever I just flicked it out didn't want to go too crazy because it's very easy for me to go crazy so yeah tiny wing for lashes I'm taking these ones from lash kitty they're a little beat up but they're my favorite they're literally look look at them I mean self-explanatory they're they're super long right up my alley so moving on to the face, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown, I don't remember what this is called, but it's like this glow lotion stuff, I'll have it down below. I love this stuff so much, it's like glow in a bottle, like you look so pretty already without foundation or anything. So on top of that I'm taking my, I believe this is from Maybelline, it's the color corrector and I really like this. I'm just going to put this all over my dark spots, if you have dark spots definitely color correct. So for foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Super Stay, and this reminds me a lot of the NARS, the, the new one, um, which I have, and these, the, the funny thing is these shades are both way too dark for me, like you will see. I'm going to use the Maybelline one today because it's bomb, but it, they're both way too dark for me because I tend to always think that I'm darker, I don't know guys, I don't know. I mixed in a lighter shade and it was still too dark, like I don't know, I mean it all ended up looking fine, but... This is not my shade at all. Like I, I either have to mix two shades or I just go darker and I just try to make it work. But usually the darker foundation shades will match me in undertone, but not shade if that makes any sense. So it is a little dark, but I'm gonna lighten it up with some concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind. I feel like I'm using a lot of Maybelline. Um, I love this concealer though. 
they recently launched it in darker shades finally so I'm using two shades one to kind of um, conceal another one to highlight so I'm taking it underneath my contour on my chin my nose and under my eyes and I'm going to blend everything but my eyes I'm going to kind of let my eyes chill for a bit because you really want your concealer to be like full coverage so I mean if that's what you like so I'm letting it sit and I'm contouring with my Fenty um, matchstick in the shade truffle and um, I just you know warming up the face before I blend out my concealer and it was nice and tacky by the time I got to my concealer it wasn't like too dry like this concealer isn't drying at all so this is a safe concealer to do that trick with So I'm taking my favorite powder, the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, the yellow color, and I'm setting my under eye and everywhere else where I put that concealer. And to everybody who's always commenting that I use this too much, yeah, I use it every day because it's bomb and I'm probably never going to stop using it because I love it. Yes, look at that cheekbone, look at that beard, she's coming to life. So I'm taking my Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade Tan and a little Kabuki. I'm going to just set my whole face. For prom, guys, you have to set your makeup because, you know, it's going to be hot. People are going to be taking pictures of you. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot going on. You don't want your makeup going nowhere. Also took my Mario Badescu spray, sprayed my face damn near died but you know it's okay this spray smells so weird like if you have it you know but it makes you look so good okay next I'm taking my NYX matte bronzer and I really like this bronzer it's a good drugstore bronzer I'm starting by contouring my nose um, you know going down the sides just trying to chisel it out a little bit and I even um, baked the sides of my nose with that powder and I just look at this powder like look how much warmth it's bringing back into my skin this is my favorite part of makeup besides my lower lashes I love putting on bronzer and just warming up my skin and even if you aren't like a blush person just make sure you use a bronzer so for highlight I'm taking my Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero highlight kit I found this in my room like in the trenches and I was like I haven't used this in a while so let me let me use this and I forgot how white this was I mean it was cute I could have made it a little bit more gold but I left it and I blended it my highlight with my contour with some blush I have no idea what I was using guys I'm so sorry but it was just a really pink blush and then I'm going to hit my lower lashes with my L'Oreal Telescopic. I posted a picture on my story actually and you guys went crazy. You guys were all asking me, what do you use on your lashes? How do you get them to be so long and thick and all this? Well first, I definitely oil them. I use eye cream every night and I oil my lashes. But I mean this mascara is amazing so go get you some from the drugstore. Okay, so for my lips, I'm taking this super tiny lip liner this is my Iman cosmetics lip liner in the shade spice I love it with all my heart and she's going to die soon so um, yeah I'm just trying to use her up and then I'm blending this with this pink lip liner from Jordana and I'm kind of doing a little ombre situation just trying to make it look less dark you know and the gloss I'm gonna to use today is this beautiful gloss this is by covergirl this is from the Katie Cat collection. Oh my God, this stuff is so pretty. Like, look at it. It's like platinum almost, but it has like these little gold flecks. Like it's sparkly. It's like highlight for your lips. Like it's almost like a lip topper, but it's super glossy at the same time. I am obsessed with this. I got so many compliments on my lipstick, which is rare because I usually just wear a chapstick, but I love this lip color. 
So that completes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this served as some prompt inspiration for some of you. Let me know what you thought down below and don't forget to check the description box for all the products that I use. I love you and stay blessed. This eye makeup is cute. I wasn't feeling it at first, but yes, you look good. Time to go.